his uh, objections, that is the officials, and uh, up, going up to the defense secre uh, secretary. Uh, and they clearly say these are parallel negotiations which undermine our negotiating position. Seriously, Abdin Solirka, they have said. Manohar Parikar's role has to be separately investigated. So we have reproduced only one part of that document, not all the documents. Because Manohar Parikar, what, the interesting thing in what ANI has been leaked to ANI, what, the, what this note says is not the date. The original note is dated November 24, 2015. The handwritten note by the Defense Secretary is 1-12-15. This is supposed to be an urgent matter. Parikar's note is signed January, 11th January, 16. So many days after the original note was there and sent to him. And what does he say? It appears that the PM... Oh, sorry. It appears that the P, PMO and French President's office are maintaining the progress of the, of the issues which was an outcome of the summit meeting. They, so he says it appears that they are monitoring. Monitoring. This is not monitoring. They are talking about parallel negotiations and not just parallel negotiations, but parallel negotiations behind the back of the negotiators. They do, don't know anything about it till the head of the French uh, uh, negotiating team, General Reb, writes, uh, writes saying that uh, we have been in touch with the JS to PM, not just PMO, Joint Secretary to the PM. And he clarifies that he has been in touch. And what does the Secretary, what does the head of the negotiating team say? That is very, very important. Citing a glaring example, the Defence Ministry note pointed out that General Reb in his letter had stated that, quote, Taking into consideration the outcome of discussions between diplomatic advisor to the French defense minister and joint secretary to PM, no bank guarantee is provisioned in the supply protocol. And the letter of comfort provides sufficient assurances of the proper implementation of the supply protocol by the industrial suppliers. So this is not monitoring. This is a decision taken in parallel negotiations conducted behind the back of the Indian negotiating team to which the defense officials rightly object, using very strong language, which we have reproduced. Manohar Parikar's role needs to be investigated further, of course he is not well. Why didn't you ask, sir, before... Why should, why should we ask? We are doing this particular the story. story there is no other side here, it's because there's, uh, the fact is, th this is the story, it has been suppressed. The sir, Supreme Court, it has been suppressed in the material given to the Supreme Court, where they only talk about the Indian negotiating team. They do not anywhere mention Mr. Ashraf's role or the PMO's role in this or the fact that the Defence Ministry officials objected. And uh, very important note is this by the Defence Secretary, the then Defence Secretary, RM Raksha Mandri, may please see. It is desirable that such discussions be avoided by the PMO as it undermines our negotiating position seriously. This is not some uh, local junior official. This is the defense secretary himself putting a stamp of approval on this objection. And then Manohar, uh, I mean Parikar, Mr. Parikar uh, is non-committal here. What does he say? Defense secretary may resolve issue stroke matter in consultation with principal secretary to PM. <laughs> so he's not taking any stand. He only, But he says that uh, the para 5 appears to be an overreaction, that he says. That, that, uh, it, it, it is meaningless. So his role, whether he was consulted on it, why he says they are, it appears, he doesn't say they are monitoring. It appears that PMO and the French President's office are monitoring. This is not monitoring. This is parallel negotiations. Not merely parallel negotiations, but parallel negotiations conducted behind the back of the Indian negotiating team. And that fact was revealed only through the through a letter from the other side. Sir, how does monitoring... it. He confirms that. Sir, how does monitoring the negotiations amount to interference? We didn't say interference. We said that they did have conducted parallel 
parallel negotiations. But it is actually, now that you raise the question, it is interference. <laughs> because it's not monitoring. If you conduct parallel invest, uh, negotiations, which behind the back of the negotiating team, that overrules or overrides the position taken by the duly constituted, legally constituted negotiating team. Then it amounts to, I didn't use the word in the story, but since you asked me about it, it is interference. Sir, uh, <laughs> our, as I, I repeat, our story was on a particular aspect. No story is complete. We, we focused, the previous story I did was uh, focusing on price. We did not look at benchmark price. We looked at the price per aircraft. We just mentioned in, uh, in passing that. We did not look at the uh, offset arrangements. So and so on. So this story is on the defense ministry of uh, def uh, objections to parallel negotiations because nobody knew that before. There were parallel negotiations. Sir Mohan Kumar, uh, you have not presented this issue proper perspective. What is your comment on that? Mr. Mohan Kumar must read the story. He's obviously not read my story because I make it very explicit that it is about a quote also from uh, the fr French uh, uh, head of the French delegation's letter, General Reb's letter, that it is about sovereign guarantee. And uh, they say the letter of comfort is enough. And this has been settled by them uh, at, at the top. I mention it, and I also mention arbitration arrangement. And uh, here the PMO not only uh, uh, undermined the position of the Indian negotiators, the Ministry of Law and Justice had also made the same point about sovereign guarantee. That is, uh, sovereign guarantee is the highest guarantee because Dassault is not, its finances are not, uh, not very secure. They are, uh, they are uh, fragile, uh, its finances. So in that context, they ra in India, three, three, three members of the Indian negotiating team raised the issue earlier. But I have not talked about price here. I have talked. About, I have mentioned only sovereign guarantee. Sir, now uh, your ethics are being by Nirmala Sitaraman, the defence minister. I don't need any certificate from Nirmala Sitaraman, <laughs> and because they are now in deep trouble and are trying to cover up. Okay, my only advice to her would be: You are not involved in the transaction. Why do you take upon yourself the burden of uh, justifying the indefensible? She is trying to. They are trying to cover up. What is the cover-up? You're saying they're not monitoring. I mean, there's only monitoring. This is not parallel negotiations. Then you're saying, why don't you publish uh, everything? Why should we? Why, why should the story be complete? Why didn't you ask us? Because you were denied it. We had the document. What more do we want? Once we have the authenticity, once we have authenticated the documents, uh, what, what more do we want? Sir, this view, sir. This is early days. We still have a lot of time for elections and... Uh, there are similarities and there are differences. So I don't, I've already written in the previous article the similarity and the, the decision making was there, similar, cover up is similar. But no money trail has been found. I, I said that earlier and uh, it remains uh, uh, true sir, till today. Sir, the ruling party BJP is about the response from the other side. What is the other side? The story, there's no other side here. The story is that the defense ministry. We had a document, this, this, why should he, he's very ill, why would he bother Manohar Parikar, he's uh, seriously ill, or why would I uh, bother uh, Mr. Arun Jaitli, who is uh, also ill uh, in the United States, recovering, he must have some humanism, we don't bother them on this, and who, and, and uh, we've had plenty of discussions with the, the government on all kinds of things, they simply deny, but this was something which was exclusive. Now, what the ANI thing has brought out is that it has authenticated what we put out. So you're saying, why didn't you mention it? That is my business, no? what we put out. It may be in the next story, it may not. But this story is complete in itself because we have not dealt with uh, Manohar Parikar's role in this. In, in this. So, and that needs investigation, his role. But what, what this uh, new document, which is obviously put out, by the government to try to counter this. It only authenticates what we say and takes it a bit further. And we are also interested in that. That what does it show? Mr. Manor uh, Parikar says it appears that the PMO and the French uh, president's office are monitoring the progress of the uh, of these negotiations. And matter or issues, maybe the defense secretary may 
uh, resolve it by talking to the principal secretary of the uh, to the PM. Now the defense secretary uh, says that there was no talk about uh, the negotiation part. That is uh, contradicted by the documents there themselves. But because the sovereign guarantee was there, they insisted on it. That has already been published by others. That those ten points on which uh, the uh, there was a division in the uh, in Indian negotiating team and on every point. Uh, three people took one side, four took another side, including on sovereign guarantee. Uh, not a, they didn't want the letter of comfort. They pointed out why, and several other issues. But this concerns. Their objection to the parallel negotiation. Let them not divert attention to what, uh, what, what, what some other issue where you say this man says it's an overreaction. So what? But he also says it's monitoring, which is not, obviously not true. But he only says it appears. He is not committed himself, and he has not taken any position on the issue. He has said you go and resolve with that man. <laughs> so, so what kind of uh, rejoinder is that? They are, of course, I can see uh, this has rattled them. And we have no other intention here. We, uh, our intention is to bring out the truth because it's been covered up. They, with, uh, they are saying, why did you withhold it? Why did you withhold it to the Supreme Court? Why didn't you give all this? Why didn't you give this to uh, what was leaked to you and I, I mean A&I, to, uh, uh, to the Supreme Court? Why did you suppress it? Why did you give the impression that uh, there was no role played by the PMO in this? That it was all uh, duly processed. They have misled the Supreme Court and there should be, I think, uh, a contempt notice must be sent to the, uh, to the government.